Hello everyone, welcome to the security channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about another problem from the 2022 Berkeley Math Tournament from the algebra test section. In this problem, which is really interesting, I have a very simple equation to solve. I have the ceiling of x times x and then I need to get the floor of that one. The whole thing is going to be 2022. We are going to find x here. Let's talk about the solution. Before talking about the solution, let me define what we have for floor and ceiling of a value like m. Floor of m is defined as the greatest integer less than or equal to m. As an example, floor of 3 is 3 and floor of a negative number like minus 4.25 is going to be negative 5 because negative 5 is the greatest integer less than or equal to negative 4.25. Now let's talk about the ceiling. The ceiling of m is defined as the least integer greater than or equal to m. Now obviously ceiling of an integer number like 2 is going to be that number. However, let's talk about a fraction. We are going to find the ceiling of negative 3.25. It's going to be negative 3 because negative 3 is the least integer greater than the value that you have here for negative 3.25. To talk about the solution, I'm going to divide it into two parts. First of all, note that x is not going to be 0. So I'm going to divide it into positive values and negative values. For positive values, we have floor of x times ceiling of x is 2022. And we already know that 2022 is between 44 to the power of 2 and 45 to the power of 2. So I can say that x needs to be between 44 and 45. Now let's talk about what we are going to achieve with this. Now the key point here is when x is between 44 and 45, ceiling of x is going to be 45. And then I can say that floor of x times ceiling of x is going to be x times 45. And then we need to take the floor of that. Now, if floor of something is 2022, that term is going to be between 2022 and 2023. And obviously, we have a condition for equality on the lower side. Now we have 45 times x between 2022 and 2023 with equality on the lower side. To find x range we can divide everything by 45 45 is already a positive number so we are going to keep the inequality as is x is going to be between 2022 over 45 and 2023 over 45 remember the initial condition that we had was x needs to be greater than 44 and less than 45 if you check you are going to see that that condition still holds. So I got a range for x based on positive values of x. Now let's focus on negative values. For negative values, I can say that 2022 is between negative 44 to the power of 2 and negative 45 to the power of 2. The difference here is x is going to be greater than negative 45 and less than negative 44. Since x is greater than negative 45 and less than negative 44, ceiling of x is going to be negative 44. And then I can put negative 44 inside this floor. We will have floor of negative 44 times x is 2022 so negative 44 is going to be between 
2022 and 2023 with equality on the lower side again. Now, negative 44x is between 2022 and 2023. If we divide everything by negative 44, we need to change the inequality conditions and then I will have x greater than negative 2023 over 44 and less than or equal to negative 2022 over 44. However, at the beginning when we started, we said that x needs to be less than negative 44 and greater than negative 45. But here, we don't see that and as a result, this is not valid for us. Altogether, we only have this range that you see here and that concludes our solution. Thanks for watching the video. If you like to see more puzzles on math involved activities, please subscribe to this channel to support us creating more content. Please let me know in the comments if you really like to see problems from some of these math competitions that you already facing or you are going to have competitions very time soon and I hope to see you in the next video.